All right, well, here it is. We have the car in the daylight, all cleaned up, and everything is wide open. Definitely a different look for this car. You can just see how we painted the condenser there. It's black, it looks really good, it looks very factory. We like the badge there. But this, right here, being wide open like that, going straight into the airbox, is something that we're gonna talk about today. And that is, of course, deleting a grill. Will it actually increase horsepower? Stay tuned, let's find out. Oh my gosh, you are so filthy. You are such a dirty girl. We need to fix that. Pretty lake. What a nice day. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we finally have a day without any rain. So we washed the car. We're out having fun with it. We're taking some pictures and I wanted to share something with you that I thought was important. And I really noticed this after we did the Cervini's grill install. You guys saw it in the last video. If you haven't, I'll link it above. But IETs, I wanna talk about that. All right, so you guys know that I did the Cervini C series upper and lower grill. That lower grill is not going to fit your car if you have an 18 with the safe and smart package. I have a 19, that doesn't come into play because I didn't buy that, so it fits on my car just fine. But there is a really cool side effect that I have noticed over the past couple of days that has to do with the installation of that grill. And that is, of course, airflow and how it is going to affect inlet air temperatures. And IATs, we all know, have a dramatic impact on horsepower. So now we're going to fire up this badass car, go for a ride. We're going to talk about some of the stuff that I have discovered and why you might want to invest your hard-earned money into something like this. All right, so as we start our drive, right now my IATs on the dash are 104 degrees after the GLT. Had the car running just briefly, we're sitting there and I was filming. So that is extremely high. IATs with temperatures that high basically rob horsepower. One of the great things about doing a cold air intake on your car is once you start moving, the air starts to rush into the car and it drops your IET significantly. Now that is a good thing because arguably cold air intakes are not really worth it. Your stock air box, especially on modern day vehicles, are fine. So do you want to spend the three, $400 on a cold air intake? They can add horsepower. These things are dyno proven. Now I will say that when you're moving, IETs don't really come into the picture there. Uh, your IETs drop once you start moving and your highway speeds or doing whatever speed limit you're at. Air rushes in, those numbers drop, and you really want them to be somewhere around maybe 10 degrees over your ambient temperature, somewhere in that ballpark. That's what I was generally seeing with the stock air box was somewhere around there. But I also saw the same thing once we did the intake and tune on this car uh, for the couple of days before we did the Cervini's grill. And I saw pretty much the same thing, about 10 degrees over ambient when the car was moving. So right now I'm sitting still, waiting for traffic to move. The IATs are climbing. And now we're gonna start moving. And after about a mile or so, they're gonna drop and they're gonna drop drastically. All right, so now that we have got the obvious information out of the way, stuff that you all know, it's gonna lead us into the topic of this video. And that is, of course, has my installation of this C-Series Cervini's grill actually increased horsepower? Well, not necessarily, but it is allowing a lot more movement of air into the car. A, a good rule of thumb, if I'm getting this right, I'm not a scientist, and <laughs> so if I get this wrong, you know, feel free to blast me in the comments. But you can generally increase your horsepower about 1% every 10 degrees that you lower your IAT. So if you're driving around and you got a hot air box on your car and it's 50 degrees or so above your your ambient air, which what's actually outside, um, you know, hot IATs, that's gonna rob a lot of horsepower. So the more that we can actually decrease that and increase airflow, uh, 
the better, the more airflow you're gonna get, the more horsepower you're gonna actually get from this. So there's a lot of stuff that comes into it. Um, you know, we're not talking about DA, and if you guys don't know what density altitude is, uh, you know, it's, it's more for like drag racing, but that's actually an aircraft thing too. So the more oxygen you have per, you know, a smaller area, the more that's gonna come into the car, and that's generally why in the cold weather, your cars always feel like they're faster. Well, that is true, because you're getting more oxygen, it's more condensed, but you know, of course, humidity comes into that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bunch of science stuff. But we have increased the airflow of this, this grill. It is, it is allowed for more airflow. But generally when we're sitting still, you know, the IATs are a lot higher and that's obvious. But once we start moving, you know, it, it really comes down. And the cool thing is why I think this is, is worthy of me talking about since I'm making a silly video about, you know, this. Servidi's grill does open up quite a bit. Like I've talked about, and like you can obviously see, there's a vast amount of air that can be drawn into the car, uh, given it is a grill delete. And I think this is important to note because with the stock grill that I had in the car, my IETs were always about 10 degrees over ambient from what was outside. But since I have done the Cervini's grill, my IETs have generally dropped to about four or five degrees over ambient when moving, which I think is, is just insane. Um, I, I would have never thought that a grill delete would actually increase airflow like that. I mean, now we are opening things up, I get it, but I didn't think they would actually have an, an effect on inlet air temperature as much as it does. So would the car actually be faster if it's getting more air, cooler air? You know, if it's a stock air box, we wouldn't be worried about this. And this grill obviously wouldn't even be coming into the equation, it wouldn't matter because the air would be sealed up in that stock air box. But now we have an open filter design, so it is subject to engine heat and all of that and whatever we bring from the outside. Um, and generally, cold air intakes are not really cold air. Uh, they're more of a, a short ram hot intake is what they actually are. But uh, in my case, driving around, you know, it is 61 degrees now, and on the dash it's 65. So that's, that's four degrees off. That is better than the stock unit that was actually in it. I mean, the, the stock grill. Uh, I just thought that that was really, really cool. The Cervini's grill may just be more than a cosmetic thing. And maybe that is one of the reasons why people down the drag strip actually delete their grill so often. Is It's just not just like a, a cosmetic thing. I, I, I've never had a grill delete on any Mustang that I've ever owned because I've always been kind of against them. But this one is really cool and I'm loving it so far. So four degrees, five degrees over ambient is definitely increased airflow over what we had stock with the JLT intake. So does that translate to more horsepower? Well, um, uh, effectively, yes, I would think so. I'm not a scientist, but you know, that's kind of my math in my head, how that all works out. So in the comments, I would love to, absolutely love to hear how you guys feel about this stuff. You know, generally people are, are against, uh, you know, open air box um, designs or cold air intakes, you know, because the hotter it gets outside, you know, the hotter you're gonna bring in the air, obviously. But it is really cool to know that when moving with the Cervini's grill, you know, if we can maintain that four, five, six degree uh, temperature difference over ambient, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty significant, actually. Now, that's also gonna lead us into the conclusion of this. Now, one of the things that was asked me, I was on the phone earlier with a friend of mine, and he is running a Whipple 3.0 on his Auto 18. And we were talking about IATs with his car and uh, all of that. So if you are supercharged, I think that it might affect you a little bit different. Because with force induction cars, once you draw in that air, even if it's hot, it is generally cooled uh, with the intercoolers that are built into, into the blower. Whichever kind that you have, you know, with the Whipple, they're mounted pretty much upside down, but things get cooled down. Uh, the thing does sit on top of the engine, so they are prone to more, you know, heat soak, if you will. But could something like this benefit those guys? Well, maybe, because, you know, generally they run open air box, cold air style intakes with their uh, Whipple supercharger setups, their positive displacement blowers, uh, root style, whatever you want to call them. Um, but, you know, generally if you're bringing in cooler air, that's less that has to be cooled down uh, right there close to the manifolds. Um, 
and how, how that whole thing works. So I would think that you know maybe something like this would benefit those guys too. Again, I'm not a scientist, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know I'm just rambling, but I just thought it was really neat. And I it was, just wasn't expecting that, you know. I think that this might actually be a really cool thing to do. You know, but the Cervini's grill is obviously pretty expensive. So is lowering your IATs, you know, really worth, you know, about 500 bucks for, you know, five, six, you know, uh, a degree difference. Well, that, that's entirely up to you. I mean, that, that is a lot of money and it is your money. But I will say that if you want to save some money, you can definitely go to CJ Pony Parts and spend your money there. They generally have some of the best deals around that I have seen. Great shop. Um, those guys, the customer service is great. So that is going to wrap up this video. I thought that it was kind of a silly video to make, but I just wanted to point out my observations that I have found so far since the installation of the Cervini's grill <laughs> running out of breath if you like this video I definitely would hope that you would drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already turn the notification bell on and stay safe on the roads enjoy your cars love your families and I will see you guys later in the next video